little bit about it. <laughs> so, you know, as I said, like Australians like to take the piss out of each other, which is a, an endearing phrase in our country. And, um, you know, our, we, we went through the military in, again, very, very competitive environments, very, very serious um, planning situations and contexts. And one of the things that it, it took me a long time to figure out was the more vulnerable I was, the stronger I was. It was counterintuitive for someone who had been trained the way that I had, where, you know, if everyone's very protectionist of, of their own reputations and their careers. But I found the more I kept giving about the vulnerabilities that I was working with, the stronger the rapport with other people I had. And I was able to leverage off those networks in order to achieve a disproportionate effect to what some of my peers were able to achieve. And so the people that shelled up more and more and more, you might not have anything on them, um, which is okay, but you also don't really spend a lot of time with them and you don't really feel the need to go out and do favors. And in our line of work, there's, you know, there's almost, there was two levels. There was your formal job and your position and, you know, your authorities. And then there was your level of influence on neighboring organizations. And what that looked like was, and that was where I put most of my effort was, hey, Bill, could I borrow some of your trucks? Could you give me a drop 20 kilometers down the road with your helicopter, you know, Harry, because uh, that would be a great asset for us to not walk that far. Yeah, cool. Like these are all favors. These weren't orders. These weren't people writing, you know, you will do this. This was, you know, over a mobile phone going, wait, could you hook a brother up, um, you know, and I'll do you a favor later on and whatever, we'll just look after each other. And being able to do that was powerful. But the reason, the way that we actually deliver that was whenever we generally try and meet someone, we'll tell them how bad we are at most things. You know, we'll give, we'll put those knives on the table before we even start. And we took that with us all the way to two star generals and go, Hey, look, this is where we've personally let you down. Before we even present, you know, the plan and the this and the all, all the information we've got to pass on to you, let me explain where we're weak already, you know, where I personally haven't hit the mark on this particular project. And what was really interesting was the more we did that, the more those people protected us because they were like, I can trust this person. I don't need to go hunting to find all the negative things. They just tell me it straight away. Yeah. And the rapport that we built with people doing that, and we called it the eighth mile technique, 